Clinton campaign trying to shake off yet another damaging report about how Hillary Clinton ran the State Department specifically. Top donors literally got a seat at a table. The state-sponsored event, uh, multiple events. David Bossie joins us, president and chairman for Citizens United, which is the group that got its hands on these emails. So let's talk about them. Clearly, you know, big donors were expecting favors, but is there any evidence they were able to influence policy, which of course would be illegal? Well, first of all, Greg, it, you know, I appreciate you having me to talk about this. This has been a two and a half year litigation effort by Citizens United to uncover these documents. So what we don't know yet is what policies were were influenced. So uh, that's going to take another look. That that's policies were influenced. It, it, absolutely. We, we, have to, it yet. We, we have to do the analysis, and we just got these documents uh, just in the last week. It's taken us two and a half years to uncover them. So we need a little bit of time on that question, but it's a very good one, and it's an appropriate right. one. Look, look, the Clintons sell access. They've been selling access since the 90s. You recall, Greg, the famous memo that Terry McAuliffe, the now governor of uh, Virginia, wrote, uh, start selling the Lincoln overnights right, right away. That's the Lincoln bedroom in the, two th in the 1990s they sold access. And, and which so improper, they've been doing this for a long time. Which smacks of impropriety, but, but not illegality. But look, what may be illegal is if benefits that were significant were conferred. Now, some of these emails show messages were passed from donors to Clinton. Do we know the content of those messages, which could be evidence of illegality? Not, not yet, but we're still digging. And, we're, and we, have, we, we will be getting uh, two or three document productions this week alone, Greg. We're getting documents every week, week in and week out, and we're going to be making them available to the American people uh, consistently between now and Election Day. Look, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, they need to hold a joint press conference to answer questions about what was going on at the foundation and where the State Department ends and the foundation yeah. begins. They need to answer about Uranium One. They need to answer about nor going to North Korea for a speech or being offered a paid gig in North Korea. This is uh, goes far and deep, and we don't have any of the answers. All right, yet. let me... Clinton said this, and, and by the way, it was before you obtained these documents. This was a couple of days ago. Quote, neither my husband nor daughter nor I have ever taken a penny of salary from the foundation. My work as Secretary of State was not influenced by any outside forces. Are you skeptical of that claim? Well, of course, you know, of course I am. Look, the, you know, we, we've uncovered emails previously, which you guys have covered, uh, talking about, uh, you know, Bill Clinton wanting to do a paid speech, but when being told it would be a political problem, saying in the email that they would put the money into the foundation. And we know that they spent $50 million in President Clinton, former President Clinton's and Hillary Clinton's travel and Chelsea Clinton's travel uh, expenses over time. This is uh, exactly what we think right. it is, and that's where the foundation is a slush fund. David, uh, keep in touch as you continue to go through these emails. I'd like to have you back on, uh, depending on what you want. Thanks very much. Thanks. Death spiral total collapse. That is how one major economist is describing Obamacare. We'll take a closer look to see how fitting that description may or may not be when we come back.